Okay, this will be part three on my series of uh, propeller balancing. I had this airplane all set up with my uh, Honeywell balancer and the optical sensor broke, so I went and got the uh, DynaVibe. So this will be about the DynaVibe. So as you can see, I've got the tail tied. I always tie the tail before I run these things. I've got the main wheels. The main wheels are chalked. And what I've done is I made a bracket. This has never been used before. So I made a bracket for the sensor and I put a, a target on the, uh, on the flywheel. I've got the uh, vibration sensor mounted on the top of the engine. I made a little bracket on the forward bolt of the case. The wiring is secured. I got it tied on the engine mount and it's going in through the no draft window. It shouldn't flap around too much. Okay, I'll start it up. Okay, I've got it running. It's uh, vibrating at 1.8 IPS at 136 degrees. So this is a little different than my uh, than my Honeywell. This is giving me an angle rather than a, a clock angle. And it's I'll warm it up at 1,200 here. Okay. So I'll try and grab a hold of the camera and rev it up at the same time because this one doesn't uh, save it. You have to you have to watch it. You have to watch it as it's revving up to see what's happening here. So I'm going to rev it up to 2500 RPM. I'm going to watch the tack over here at the same time to see how accurate it is to make sure we're... see the vibration was pretty uh, pretty high it was 0.4 at about 160 degrees it's the same at idle here so I'm gonna put some weight on that and start it up again and let's see what happens okay so the uh, light spot on this it said it was at about 160 degrees so that's down around here somewhere so I took the, wa the uh, screw out of the uh, spinner and I put three washers on there on, a, on an AN screw. So it's a little stronger, a 525 screw. And uh, that's about 15 grams I've added on there once you minus the screw from that. So I'll run it again. Okay, so I've got it running again. And I'm going to rev it up and you can watch this. I'll try and hold it still here. about 0.2 at 180 degrees so we had a shift so the weight isn't going in exactly the right spot we're gonna we just shifted back over to here I know I'm in about the right range so I'm gonna shift I shifted the weight over to the other side there and there's there are bolts in there lined up fairly close to where we need to add the weight so it's gonna be okay okay we've got the engine running again I'll just run it up to 2500 rpm quickly and you can see what's happened here That's a pretty good balance 0.17 it's less than 0.2 so we could actually add some, slightly a little bit more weight but I think we're just going to transpose that we're going to put it onto the bolts and uh, and go from there I don't know whether I'll uh, I'll run it run it hit one more time to check it but I don't know whether I'll post that or not